Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Bad Games Tycoon 2. Where guys, last episode was a complete emotional roller coaster. Not only did we fully expand all of our rooms, where we got now our brand new development room over here, which currently has in 21 workers, our music room of 19. We uh, we moved ooh, new money for this engine. We moved that quality assurance room over to here, which got 15 members of staff. The research uh, research <laughs> research expanded to 15 members of staff. The graphic studio expanded to 19 members of staff. It's all happening, boys. It's all freaking happening right now. And I also discovered the ability to create and rehash classic games, which at the moment cash looking like it needs. A few more copies being created. I'll do 48,000. There we go. So, yeah, I, I kind of found out that I can um, make money. Ooh, an employer's cause a bad mood. Get out of here. Yeah, I kind of figured out I can make money from older games, turn them into classics, and then it means I can then go on to create bundles and stuff like that. Never knew anything about that. So, it's another way in which I can make money when all of my workers and developers are all focused on creating one of the games. Which is pretty exciting. And I just want to say, guys, if you do enjoy this episode, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you're new around here, then make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when the next episode does come out. Now, I did promise last episode we're going to go in straight away and pretty much create a big MMO game. Which I'm going to be really, really excited about, really, really hyped about. So, we're going to pause it for just a hot minute and just gather our thoughts. So, currently, Cash 2 is completely done. So we can now take that game off the market, Cash 2. There we go. Which made us 26 million in profit. That's amazing. That really is. Which means any additional stock that we've got, so 26 million plus 2 million, 28 million, we've managed to get back from that game. Beautiful. <laughs> These three right games right now are currently classic games because I am trying to create, and I think it's a game bundle, um, is it this where you can only select? No, it's not a game bundle. Uh, you can only get released for budget edition. Oh, and how? Okay, yeah. So I think it's these that have been released for budget edition. Like if I budget a game, yeah. So you, I can create, and this is what I'm kind of waiting for: five budget games, which are ones I've turned into classic versions, uh, to pretty much create as a game bundle, and then we can sell. So I'm trying to go for my, you know, some decent ones. And we can also release our Game of the Year, which we only ever did WWE Remastered as Game of the Year. So we can release a special edition of that, and uh, which I'm really excited about. So, without further ado, we're going to create an MMO. That is something right now at this stage I feel like is going to be good. Uh, because of how much stuff I can put into it with all the new bits and bobs. So it's going to be a new game. And it's going to be a MMO, which straight away off the bat costs 10 million. I know. I know. We are going to go for a triple A game, because I feel like that is the limit that we're at right now. And what have we not selected? A building game. Hold on. Building. I'm sure we could create um, building blocks. You see where this is going? Building blocks. Building game. Um, hold on. Hold on. Adventure. Building game. Strategy. Um, are these percentages based on... Like... What my first one is selected as? Just bear with me a second. If I select skill game. Adventure is 56. If I select building game, adventure is still... Okay, I, I don't know what that means. But what I'm trying to say is, guys, we can create Minecraft. <laughs> you see where this is going? Minecraft! There we go. We're making it ourselves. Bam! So with our engine, it's going to have the Sengen V8 main platforms. Currently the personal computer and the Macintosh. I'm going to buy some dev kits for whatever is currently available. So 
the Game Boy Advanced. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, the Nintendo Game Boy. How have we not got that one? Oh, we can't use them because they need to be a minimum technology of five. Which is going to mean it's going to be the, the GameCube over here. And then the Sega. Um, Sega Dreamcast. I love how they change the names from. Which is only at really, really small percentages, but every little helps, I suppose. Every little helps. We'll buy new copy protection and new anti-cheat software as well. Uh, get all that thrown in. Brand new stuff for this brand new big MMO game. It's going to be amazing, this is. It's going to be amazing. So, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Game length is obviously going to be high. Gameplay... Content, beginner friendly, for the casual-ish, yeah? So sound, not so much. Gameplay, high. Technics, high. Enable all languages. Enable all features. All 50 features right now. And look at that, we got perfect sandbox mode. So it's going to cost me at the minute 16.7 million. You can't make those higher. Uh, to make this game. Just think about that right now. That's a lot of cash. Money. Moolah. But that's okay. Um, and then not forget it all this. So 16.7 million. An extra million for those. Uh, improved gameplay. Almost an extra million there. Uh, graphics. Enable all. 1.6 million thrown in there. Holy moly, boys. We're getting it all thrown in right now, but this should be a really, really good game. So while they're doing that, in the background, anything new we can research? We can probably get like a new topic out of these guys. Basketball, why not? Um, we are going to go on to... Because Cash Classic has made 2 million profit. Avengers Go Skirt Classic is yet to break even. And Chartered Classic has also made a little bit of profit. It's not a lot, but every little helps. But I now need to release another budget game. And we did Chartered there. Let's also go for Chartered 2 Classic. Um, 10 big ones. You can't select anything else. Uh, give that 10 weeks as well. And we'll also produce some of that game for Chartered 2. We can create like a nice little Chartered bundle. So 100,000 copies for Chartered 2. We'll get that out as well. I don't know if it's going to sell 100,000 copies. No idea. But it's there nonetheless. And then that is four altogether. Then I need to release, once I got the fifth one, then the, the, the bundle. Pretty much. So that has got seven weeks to go. Uh, Adventures Go Skirt Classic is no longer selling. We didn't. We actually lost money on that, but that is just purely to kind of create the game bundle. So Adventures Go Skirt, unfortunately, we made no money, but that's okay. So we lost seventy-eight thousand, but if I sold the stock, technically I made seventy thousand. You see, you see, made money. It's all because I, I produced too many copies. That, that's kind of literally all it is. Right, we ain't going to win anything. Wow, Developer of the Year and Publisher were, were Cupcoms? That means we could be Developer and Publisher of the Year. Hmm. Um, budget game again. Chart we'll go for Chartered Free this time. Classic. Make it 10 big ones. Yep, yep, yep. Produce game. Chartered Free. 100,000 copies. Because you never know what's going to happen. And there we go. There we go. We're starting to get a couple of orders coming in right now for Chartered 2. Which is good to see. <clears throat> I am so excited. So excited right now, boys. Anything new for these guys to research? Yep. New topics. Bicycle. Get that done. Um, do a marketing campaign for the game. Uh, Minecraft. Spend half a million on TV advertising. Get some hype built up for that right now. And the Sengen V8. Everyone's loving the Sengen V8. I, I should really think about maybe up in my profit share <laughs> on the next engine, maybe. So Chartered 2 is now starting to make money. 
So I like to see the first week is always the highest because that obviously that always includes pre uh, pre orders. But that should just tick through quite nicely and. Fingers crossed it makes a profit. I don't see why it shouldn't. It's almost made 100,000 in revenue. Ooh, nice. Some additional stuff being thrown in. Oh, then we lose on the music. Then we lose on the music. How dare these damn folios. Oh, there's a, there's a lead dude right now. Like a, a legend dude that we can hire. Was it game design? I seen profession. Salary. Oh, there's two. There's a graphic art. Two graphic artists. Hold on. I gotta get rid of the weak link. Right name. Um, graphic design. Uh, I'm sorry, but you weak link need to be need to go. Select. How do I? F oh, dismiss employee. There we go. Yeah. I'm so sorry, but we have two legends on the scene. For graphic design. Throwing them both in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. More stuff going in for Minecraft. So, Chartered Free is now being sold. And that's that taking a nice big chunk out there. Which is something else that looks like it's going to turn a profit to. Which is really good. Uh, Cash Classic is now all pretty much done. So, we can remove that from the market. Made us 2.2 million in total sales. And then when we sell the additional stock of Cash Classic, only 14,000 left in there anyway, so not really much, but that was a good one. That was a real good one right there. So all these games is making a little bit extra money. They're not making us profit like in, in total, but they're paying a couple of the bills in the background as time goes on. That's pretty much what they're doing at this point. So it looks like Chartered Classic is now seeing the end of its life. So, we'll grab that off the market real quick. Chartered Classic. Made us near 200,000 in revenue there. And then sell the additional stock. So, 300,000 in total. Not bad. <clears throat> Not bad. So, Chartered 3 is doing better in sales than Chartered 2. They should both make a profit. Might take a while. <laughs> but we, we should both make a profit there. We should. Now, should we release our Game of the Year edition? Let's do this. Game. I'm not thinking I'm going to call it that or that. Now we'll call it this one. Game of the Year edition. And... So, I, it's already at maximum price. It's already at maximum price. Can't really do much about that. Ten weeks. Get it out there again. again it's like free money. That's what we got to kind of remember. It's like free money. I don't know how well this is going to do, so I assume a Game of the Year edition is going to be like classed as like a, you know, nostalgia. Worst case scenario, we just sell the additional copies. But you never know. You never know. Right. The Martin's completed that little campaign. Game. Game of the Year. Do some radio ads. No, let's do some internet ads. Get everybody freaking hyped about this game right now. Let's go. How's Minecraft doing? We're still ticking along, Minecraft? You still doing your thing right now? Minecrafty? Minecrafto? Minecraft 2? Many, many names. Many names right now. So we're already a million in the hole for the WWE Remastered. Apparently, I've got really high expectations of this game. <laughs> and apparently, that's Minecraft. That ain't even Minecraft. Get it out of here. But we're breaking the record on graphics and the uh, the old technics already before continuing development. Because these guys aren't even finished. These guys haven't even finished. Neither of these guys over here. So, no one's even polishing just yet. So, we've got a long way to go. No new stuff to research just yet. So, let's... Birds. Because that's, that's a good idea, right? I don't know. We got a little bit of hype for WWE Remastered. Got a few pre-orders ready to go right now. Nearly 10,000 in the bank, which is going to make us a nice big chunk of cash money moolah. Uh, 2.3 million. We're in the hole. All right, we'll do a large booth. So WWE Remastered. I'll do I'll do Chartered Free. Because I want the other one to be Minecraft. There we go. 100,000 peeps. Nice, 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 nice. 
Let go. So the sales are now coming in. Ooh, I don't know if... I think I may have overreached. <laughs> WWE Remastered. Actually, no. He just made like 200,000 profit there. On that one sales week. So that's not too shabby. That's not too shabby right now. But we'll see. We'll keep an look at 1.6 million. We're in debt still. Then the next week it's going to be 1.4. Okay, we're doing okay. Don't worry too much. There's nothing new to research at the minute. Don't worry too much, boy. Don't worry too much. So they're like currently getting rid of the bugs. Good stuff. They're polishing. Good stuff. They're also polishing as well. Everyone's doing the polishing jobs. Um, I know that some of our records right now are well over the 10,000 mark. So we won't do anything until all that the bugs have been bashed. We won't do anything just there, just yet. But uh, looks like we are going to eventually make a profit from WWE Remastered. It's going to take a while, but we, we, we're going to do it. Just waiting for the Minecraft bugs to uh, disappear and skedaddle out of here. <laughs> I get too excited on, some, on the, the, the stupidest of stuff at times. 170 odd bugs now to remove. But once these two games here are completely off sale, then I can release my first ever game bundle. That's what I'm excited about as well. We can get that skedaddled. What else can we do? Pricing and packages, getting the remove from market. No. Um market research the bank company and logo okay that's our company and logo uh market research i should really be taking like a like a look at all this stuff shouldn't i um publisher exclusive contracts there's none available um buy licenses hmm Hmm, this is something that we might need to look at. Like, I could buy, like, say, like, a license for a five-star one, The Seventh Sense, it's a film, and it can be used for up to five games. Or the Let Go movie. I don't know how good they would be. Could you class them as almost guaranteed hits, maybe? Maybe, who knows? Who knows? Uh, the bank. Apparently, I can I can have seven point six million from the bank. Nice, appreciate it, bank. Appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate it right now. And the charts. Best games of all time. Oh, hold on. Too many clicks. Are we even on this list? No, we have never had a game above like what eighty six percent. And it was Spider-Man Goes for a Walk. <laughs> That's what it was. Wow. Um, all time charts. Um, we next left fancy. Oh, it's how many units were sold. Do you know what? This. this. I don't feel too good about checking these leaderboards. Best selling add-ons. Because I thought I was doing really good. It turns out I'm not doing really good. MMO subscriptions. Oh, yeah, that's not a thing. Uh, no, 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 no. Best sold bundles. No one's releasing them yet. Best selling budget games. It's all us because, you know, nobody else is doing it just yet. Wow, okay. Okay, we'll leave it as that. We'll leave it as that, boys. That's kind of maybe slightly depressed looking at it. <laughs> it really has. It legit really has. Don't look at it again, boy. Don't look at it ever again. Until we make, like, a really, really good one. So how are we doing over here then? So there's all the bugs are now officially out. They're throwing in the last little bits of polish in here and there to make the game slightly a little bit better. Um, ooh, anything? We haven't really released a game game. It's been all like remasters and classic versions. Saying that though, WWE Remastered has now made quite a considerable amount of profit. GG everybody, GG. Uh, right, let's finish this then. So finish development. We break all the records, so, you know, put two and two together, you get five. We're going to make a hit game. Uh, Self-distribute it. 
And do I milk it for everything it's worth? Oh, damn, I didn't mean to go that high. Each version will be $10 more than the previous version, but we're throwing posters and game color manuals on that one. 10 weeks is what I like to give it. Set the price of subscription. Seven big ones. Feeling confident there, guys. Feeling confident right now. Nothing out there like it. It got a 12. It's not classed as a hit. I don't know what to say about that. Minecraft. I'm going to make half a million of the standard units. Lego. <clears throat> Let's go right now. So we are currently 22 million in the hole for Minecraft. Now, considering we still got 57 million in the bank, it shows that these kind of little stuff that we've been doing in the background has really kind of, you know, paid some of the bills for us right now. But that's going to be interesting to see what comes of this. It really is. Um, right. Okay. So these, well, Chartered 2 is now definitely dying down. The cliff edge is, is definitely starting to drop. Nothing new to research just yet. Uh, right, let's see what we could do. That would be good. What what kind of calls out to me straight away? What calls out to your boy straight away? Extreme sports could be good. Hacking. Oh, yes. Let's go with hacking. That sounds good. That sounds real good right now. Right. F2P games and digital distribution was unlocked. You can now develop F2P games and distribute your own games as an online digital version. Are you for real? I could have done this as an online digital version. Uh, price of package contents of Minecraft. Oh wait, I can. Can I include it? Yes. Oh snap. So basically, right, the digital version doesn't cost us any production costs. But we get a straight $35 profit. Right, good job we included that in there then. That might increase a bunch of um, pre-sales. Oh, can I do it to these? Hold on. Um, packaging contents. Like, for example, WWE Remastered. Digital version. Digital version. While it's currently selling. I wonder if that. Because if I do sell anything like digitally. I'm getting full shebang. Full smack on the price. And no production costs involved. Which would be pretty good. So. Minecraft is now on the market. Obviously the. Oh snap. Sadiac you forgot to do. Um. No wait. Are we on the servers? Because no. Oh there we go. Yeah. Well, let's say no one's no one's using the, the servers, but we're all good. We're all good. <laughs> so the thing is, we get money from selling the game, but we're also going to be also generating money from the subscriptions, which is a big way to kind of um, bring you more cash money moolah right now. So that's always a good thing. Charter 2 can now skedaddle off the market. So remove game from market. Charter 2. Get out of here. 92 Gs we made off it. And then sell the additional stock of Charter 2. So we made... 220,000 in revenue from it in the end. So we are one game away, Chartered uh, to Free Classic right now for releasing our very first ever game bundle, which is going to be super duper exciting. Uh, still can't research or, you know, anything new yet. Still waiting for console development, guys. What year do we get console development? But at, at the end of the day, we're now selling digital copies of our games. That's a big, big boost. It kind of does mean that you don't have to then technically create as many copies as you once was. Too late now, I created millions for uh, Minecraft. Millions! So we might give it a little bit of time uh, for Minecraft to, to kind of slightly die down and we release like a little game add-on or something. So we move game from the market. Chartered Free is now good to go. We made 260 or a quarter of a million. Minus the additional stock. 300,000. Over 320,000. That's not too shabby. Which does now mean... Oh, hold on. WWE Remastered needs more units. Um, get rid of these. These. 
I'll do a hundred well, eighty four thousand units. I don't know how if that's a lot. <clears throat> Not sure how many it's gonna need. But it's there for them. So game bundle. Throw in all the games right now. Name the bundle. Um we'll call it Hmm. If I got rid of Avengers Go Skirt, it's still a four, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll call this uh, the foolish, the foolish bundle. Nice. <laughs> we'll make it thirty big ones on both sides. Oh, sales price, which means that's the retail price. Production cost. I make it twenty five dollars because I have. This is the first time I'm releasing these games. It is, isn't it? Uh, produce for the foolish bundle, and I'll just make a hundred thousand copies. Play it kind of low key safe, even though that could not be safe. But you're getting five games for the price of one. For the third time ever. <laughs> I, feel like a, I feel like that's a bit of a skank, isn't it? I feel like that's, that's, that's pretty much what that is. We're skanking everybody right now. Hmm. Yeah. Weird one. But anyway, Minecraft has managed to generate half the money that it cost us. Large booth. So this will boost a lot of sales right now. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Look at those subscriptions. 140,000 subscriptions right now and still climbing. Oh, yeah. This is good. Right, so shall we create a add-on? So add-on bundles. Avengers Go Skirt, add-on. Avengers Go Skirt, add-on. Oh, we can create that as a thing? Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to create a, a, an MMO add-on. So develop or updates and add-ons. MMO add-on for Minecraft. And we'll throw in... There's actually quite a lot we can throw in. I can throw in everything. It costs us 8.9 million. Do I do it for the sake of saying we did it? I mean, that's pretty much borderline like a whole new game. We call it Minecraft. Oh, do you know what we can call it? Minecraft um, Story. Story mode. Isn't that what they did in real life? Minecraft Story mode. Alright, let's do that. Buy new cheat engine. Can I stop those, those cheaters? Getting all the diamonds. And we'll go a little bit more on the graphics and gameplay. Bring the sound down and techniques. We'll just do that for this. Get them going. Uh, enabled all. Even though they can't do anything to it. But what they can do is just polish off the game. Because all the stuff's been added to it anyway. So just polish the game. Polish it from your boy. So that's going to be a nice beautiful little add-on right now. We're going to be excited about it. The Foolish Bundle is about to go live. So what do we get? 35,000 impro- Oh my goodness me! Have you for real? We just made... 800,000 in profit? Oh my goodness me. Hold on guys. We're gonna need to- uh, Hold on. Shut the front door. Alright. 200,000 more copies I'm printing right now. Holy smokes. We're selling quite a lot. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. I take it it's worth it in the end. It's a lot of work to get to that point, but it's free money. Like, I already made those games. I'm just re-releasing them. Ooh, nice little music uh, additional there. Right, that's all good. Uh, WWE Remastered is like it's coming to the end of its life right now. 
new sound technology available. So the engine feature surround sound. Ooh. All right, WWE Rastered. It looks like it's coming off the market now. So where is it? There we go. It made us a total of 2.5 million, which is not bad for a re-released um, game. Continue development. So 2.5 million plus... So 3 million we made at the end of it. Which is really good. Because it's literally, I did nothing. I just re-released the game under a different name. The Game of the Year edition. So that's good, isn't it? Uh, oh my goodness me, we're going to need to produce more copies of um, the Foolish Bundle. Right, I'm going to do only 100,000 this time. There we go. Keep that ticking along. Um, right, subscriptions are now starting to dwindle. Oh no, they're going back up again. My bad. Uh, we need to get rid of the bugs. So, can you cancel the task, please? And move on to bug fixing. Thank you very much. Oh my! Oh snap! Minecraft needs more copies. Minecraft, Minecraft. Right, I'm gonna do two hundred thousand because obviously we're about to release a, the add-on, so we're gonna need more. We are going to need more, either way. So ninety odd bugs left to go, and then we can release the beautiful add-on. Right? Do we win anything? I don't think we will. It's like all of a sudden we don't exist. That's what it's like. It's like all of a sudden we don't even exist right now. <laughs> In the game awards. It's just terrible. Can we get to 200,000 subscriptions though? We made 8.9 .9 million profit so far, guys. 8.8 mi- Oh my goodness me. I need to produce more units for the Foolish Bundle. Foolish Bundle! There we go. 8.8 .8 million in profit on the Foolish Bundle right now. Property prices have boomed. Okay, we ain't buying it. Well, we wasn't, wasn't going to buy anything anyway, but definitely ain't buying now. Um, right, all the bugs are now out. We can get this skedaddled. So, finish development. Like, obviously, we break all records because it builds upon what we already have. Uh, Self-distribute the, the add-on. Right, and... I'm not here to... Well, I am here to make loads of money, but I want to sell as many units as possible. So, okay that. Give it 10 weeks. Alright, sweet, sweet, sweet. It's got a 12 rating. It's not a hit game. That's fine. But we are now going to produce the game for the story mode. I'll do 300,000 copies. We'll do, no, we'll do 68,000 of, of each of the special editions and leave it as that we'll pretty much just leave it as that so new engine and gameplay features then so we got touchscreen support there yes boys we're finally starting to get new stuff to research right now we have ridiculously boost the subscriptions right now for minecraft because everyone knows there is a new add-on coming soon and it's probably the biggest add-on i've ever created for any game that's how crazy that's gonna be I'm going to see if I can now... We should actually just think about just making a normal game again, right? So, develop a game. New game. Um, or actually, no, let me wait for the touchscreen features to come in. Oh, that's a point. Game engines. How far are we from creating like a new game engine? So, update old engine. Features. There is going to be one two three but there's also a fourth one that i can research in just a moment hmm uh, oh the foolish bundle oh snap the foolish bundle can you hurry up story mode i mean we're getting pre-orders for days there's a lot of pre-orders right now so at least that is the good like a good thing all right foolish bundle um I'd do almost 100,000 units. Because we've got 38,000 ready in pre-orders. Here we go. BAM! Money! 13.1 million were made in sales. Right, story mode's about to come out. Damn. That made a nice big chunk on day one. 
Uh, right, new engine features. The AI side of it. We'll get that done next. Oh, snap! We've, we've surpassed 100 million in cash money moolah in our bank account right now. Also, this freaking foolish bundle is going to want another 100,000. Oh, and so does Minecraft. Oh, no. No! I mean, we'll still sell because we got digital copies. But I need physical copies. Minecraft. 250,000. Get those in right now. We had 8,000 pre-orders, but we managed to cover our backs pretty quick there. We're all good. We're all good. It's all happening now, isn't it? It's all freaking happening. Right, let's budget a game. And... We could re-release... I mean, is, is it going based on... Review results. Spider-Man goes for a walk. Yes, yeah, so let, let's now slowly start classicking our older games. Now, what if I just made it a digital, just a digital version? Would that go against us? You reckon? I'm going to make it a digital exclusive. Which means I can pretty much release it from day one. It's a digital version only. Which means it cost me absolutely nothing. And we've made 11 grand. Oh, there's a new developer to hire. They're both game designers. I'll take them, boys. Can I throw them in this room? Yes, I can. Alright, there we go. 17 big ones in profit. <coughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem like a lot, but we make more money from the bundles as we discovered. So that's what we're going to be going for. That's what we're going to try and go for right now. So that's now done. Is anything new to research? Not at the moment. So can you guys please update my old game engine? Call it the Sengine. Oh, V9. Uh, enable everything new, which is four new items. One for each section. I'm going to make the profit share right now literally be like 10%. It's free to use, but I want a 10% of all your game revenue because everyone seems to be using it and, and you know whatnot. And I feel like I'm not getting... I, put, I invested all the money into it. <gasps> Golden record received Minecraft. We've sold a million copies. Right, large booth for Minecraft, for Minecraft Story Mode, and the Foolish Bundle, or Spider-Man Goes for a Walk. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Um, now, I'm not too fussed about Spider-Man Goes for a Walk, literally because we make more money from the bundle, so I'm going to go with the Foolish Bundle. The Foolish Bundle, which it's going to need more units. I just want to see how many it sells in the next week. Yeah, produce game. Uh, the Foolish Bundle. I go 52,000 because I, I don't fully know how much life it's got left in it. But I suppose we'll find out. We'll find out. Now, I know I've left money on the table by not making Spider-Man Ghost for a Walk. Also, physical copies. But I'm, I'm going ahead of the curve right now. Digital downloads for days. Nothing but pure cash. Money moolah coming in in profit. That is what we're hoping. Game engine is now done. So I think we're going to jump on to create one game. Develop a game. New game. And let's see. So... Popularity in dramas. Puzzle game is at the moment is the trend. You've got building game or real-time strategy. Now, puzzle game, what could I throw on it for the puzzle game? Puzzle... I don't think I've got anything good. Puzzle hacking game. 
puzzle skill game hacking do i call it watchdogs i know it's not the perfect setup but i feel like that would work target group all it's gonna be oh what oh free to we can create fortnite in free to play and then like do deep like you know in-app purchases <laughs> standard game leave it as that uh senjin v9 at this point um throw what i can at the minute and then buy dev kits oh the sony playstation and the xbox are now here has anything got less than um what's that 2.1 but do you know what i'm gonna remove that platform and i'm gonna put the xbox on there Because I feel like by the time I complete the development, that market share for Xbox will be a lot higher than the GameCube. That's all I'm saying. Let's go. Uh, cheat engine stuffs by that. There we go. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Copy protection. Oh, that's really high. There we go. All the new stuff on the engine. Great, great, great. Uh, gameplay, game length, content, beginner friendly, casual gamer. Bring that down a little bit more. Leave it all as it is. All good. All good. Enable everything. Um, let's take at least one feature. 51 features available. Let's just go. Let's just get it done. Right. High quality sounds. Throw that in. Um, improved gameplay. Throw that in. The graphics side of things. High quality graphics. Throw it all in. Let's just get it done, guys. Let's just get it done right now. Uh, right, leave them to do what they've got to do. Let's see what's going down then with all of our current games on sale. So, digital version of Spider-Man Control Walk. 62 big ones in the bank. Nice. I'll take it all day, every day. Oh, video games crash. 50% of games sold. No! No! I mean, it's a shame, but it, it's, it's going to come at the end of these games' lives rather than the start. So... I mean, it's terrible. Look at the big dip we've now just had. Oh, Foolish. The Foolish bundle. Make some more units for that. Um, Minecraft Story Mode is yet to turn a profit. Which, all that's really done is kind of just sparked more sales for Minecraft in general. So that's what we got to kind of think about it in the end. We have a... I'm sure I said we got something new to research then. Um, okay, Minecraft Story Mode needs some more units. I'll just make copies for, for the main version. <clears throat> but Minecraft in general, 40 million in profit. What? That's crazy. That really is. But the Foolish Bundle is coming to the end of its life right now, as you can now see. I think we've done pretty good on Minecraft. It will continue to make money until the subscriptions, like, heavily drop. So we still got a little bit of life left in the old dog yet, boys. Still got a little bit of life left in the old dog. Why right, do we win anything? Not a single thing. The fact that Minecraft went gold and we don't win any awards. Shocking. Shocking, mate. Right, I think the game market's now recovering with these two being higher than all the rest. Uh, the Foolish Bundle's now done. Wow, someone used the, the Sengen V9 and we got a 10% of all their revenue. Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Right, the foolish bundle can get gone. 17.8 million in return. There's probably only gonna be a couple of units left. So almost 18 million were made in profit off re-releasing five games for the third time. Uh level five uh, level four items are now have been unlocked. That sounds freaking amazing right now. Uh, so it means I can go around to each of the rooms 
select their furniture and upgrade all the items. Doing each of the rooms right now, so everything that they're kind of working with. Oh, all the objects are up to date apparently. Maybe there's not a level kind of four for those items. What kind of computers have they now got? <laughs> they still look ancient. <laughs> they really do. Uh, upgrade all items. Did I do it in the research room? Upgrade all items. Just keep upgrading. Marketing streamer has now been locked. More and more people are watching games on the internet as gamers play their favorite games. If we do it right, we can use it to promote our games and reach... Ooh. Well, hold on. Let me try that. So basically, right, we're reaching out to streamers going, yo, play my game. <laughs> you know, like what they do in real life. It's like, Raid Shadow Legends all of a sudden coming in. Um... Right, stop marketing it, auto-repeat, but stop it as soon as it reaches its maximum for the top streamers. we got to wait until hype has dropped. Oh, what's the hype now? Oh, hold on, guys, because I've got, I got other issues. Produce game. Minecraft. Hold on. I ain't got no, no, no buddies. No, no copies to sell for the other games. Minecraft story mode. Produce that real quick. Right, continue the development because I'm not ready just yet. So, what's the hype right now? It's on... Uh, when until the hype has dropped below 50? Oh, I'm doing it to Minecraft! Oh, I'm so foolish. Game. Watchdogs. Let's go. So, top streamers right now are going to make us reach our core demographic. It's mad to think that we haven't even turned a profit. On Minecraft story mode. Oh, actually, do you know what? I reckon we will. But it's all been aided to make this game make more money. That's literally what it's been what, it, what it's been used for. New engine features. Advanced physics. More new stuff. Right, we st we we're not fully polishing yet. On any oh, we are on the graphics side. But we've still got plenty of kind of stuff to do and to get done. They're now bug fixing, which is getting the, that all finished. So we're just now playing the waiting game. So, 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 boys, we, I feel like this is going to be the one. It's going to be the one that maybe wins us at least one award all over again. Minecraft is, needs more copies. I could make more, but I, I don't know how it's going. I, I just don't know those vibes yet. Ooh, real estate crash. Building 50% price. That means this building is now 31 million. I don't want to buy it yet, but when is the next time it's going to be half price? I don't know. So I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to buy this one because I have the money, just because they're currently half price. I'll never get that chance again. And it does mean I can now reconfigure some of our rooms and add in more staff. Oh, 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 oh Sediac! What are you doing? Not even I know. Not even I freaking know at this point. Uh, but is Minecraft still selling, like, big amounts of uh, units? Kind of-ish. We've now officially made profit on story mode. Uh, the hype is now built up, which is good. So if I cancel the task... Well, I should have done... Marketing campaign for the game of Watch Dogs. Max there. Just keep repeating it. Um, eight yard bugs left to go. Large booth. We're going to select uh, Minecraft, obviously. We're going to select Watch Dogs. And we'll go story mode just to get the last few units out of that. Which we're going to produce even more units. It's it's a never-ending... I mean, I, I know I should produce more, but I'm on that fine line. If I produce too much, we won't sell them. So just, just keep producing them in small batches. Right, I think this is the last I'm going to ever need for Minecraft Story Mode. Right, Spider-Man Goes for a Walk is now all done. So I can remove that from the market. Didn't make us a lot, but it takes us to the next stage... Of then creating our game bundle. That's the first one of many more to come. So if I budgeted another game, and again we're going to do it by you know results here. 
And we're just going to make our, our next best five games, is what we're going to do. So, instantly release it. Don't even care, mate. Because it's already going to have a high hype anyway. There we go. So that's now dropped, so I can cancel the task. Save some money. All the bugs are now out. We can then go on to... Finish development. We don't break all the records, which is fine, because I did do an MMO and then did an add-on, which made them really, really high. So, it is what it is. Self-distribute. All this good stuff in. 40, 50, 60. Good stuff. I'm, go I'm going big. I'm going big. So, except that, I'm going to give it, this time round, five weeks. All good stuff there. Lots of games like this. It's a zero. It's a hit game! Finally, we've made a hit game. And then produced a game. Watch dogs. I'm going to make half a million of the standard units. A hundred thousand of each of the special editions. Give or take. We're good boys. We're going to be Gucci at this point. Okay, so already WWE Remastered Classic is making more money in the first couple of weeks than the whole of uh, Spider-Man Goes for a Walk, but... That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter right now. Uh, anything new to research? Not just yet. So all our staff members are just chilling like a strawberry villain right now. Just taking it easy. Doing what they've got to do. Uh, but we now need to produce more games for Minecraft. So we can't do it just yet because we are making Watchdog. But <clears throat> it would just literally build up pre-orders when we were able to do it. So we're now starting to sell the copies for... Um, for watchdogs people are happy about it but two positive stuff happened for the game just then they like the sound and the gameplay or something like that i can't remember what they, what they were saying still making tons of units which i feel like we need to make so many more because of how many we're now legit selling we're gonna actually make profit very soon oh they think the story was not that exciting how dare you how dare you uh, we're still selling digital copies anyway of Minecraft. And the subscription money is still coming in. But well, I need to sell some more physical copies. There's 42,000 in, in backlog right now. Another real estate crash too. Right, I've got to wait for this to get done. I'm surprised how well WWE Remastered is doing. Uh, Minecraft. Don't need those. I'll do 200,000. You never know. You never know at this point. Story mode is now complete. It's done. Get it off the market, boys. It was good. We made 600,000, which is not a lot, but you got to think of what it did for the sales of, of normal Minecraft. What it did for that was amazing. Amazing right now. So that's now doing what it's got to do. Come on, please, at least win something. Yes! Developer of the year! Game of the year! Oh my goodness, we got a game of the year. Already for Watch Dogs? Guys, that's a big deal. Because it now means I can release a game of the year edition. Obviously, I can't do it until it's been removed the market, but... Ho! Lee! Moly! That is ridiculous. That is low-key ridiculous right now. So, I think we're going to bring it in for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this episode. It's going to be interesting to see where it goes next episode, and hopefully we get to the point where we're able to then start creating consoles, finally. But the things are looking good. Watch Dogs needs more units right now. we got 69,000 in... Um, oh, wow. Okay. So, 600,000 there. We've got a huge backlog in pre-orders coming through, which we'll now start selling. Still got pre-orders right now. I can't make enough to get past the pre-orders. We're still selling solely on pre-orders right now. We'll get there. We'll slowly get there. But there's new motion control support anyway. Guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good.